We like to thank Pastor and his lovely wife for having us out under the tent. Check it. What time is it? What time is it? Come on. What time is it? 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 Come on, Pastor. What time is it? Check it. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And when you walk with him, you'll be walking up right. Jesus will wash away all your sins. He'll turn your life around. You'll be born again. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Come on. What time is it? I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why.
Jesus. Read it once more again. Come on in your presence, Lord God. Thank you for praising for what you have done. Come to these past few days, Lord God. We thank you for this hour right now, Lord God. Follow for the anointing, for the deliverance, the healing under this church, Lord God. For the anointing that you have placed under this church. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for infecting us in your spirit, Lord God. Lord God, we walk in the past of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord God, we lift up holy hands, Lord God. Healing ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. Lord God, we come to see you, Lord God, to sight, Lord God, like a empty creature before full God. God, we have to give ourselves mighty to you, Lord God. Oh God, for how great thou art in all the earth. Lord, we worship you, Lord God. We are expecting, Lord God, higher heights and deeper depths. We are expecting, Lord God, an increase in the overflow. We are expecting, Lord God,
family and the islands are praying and other people are praying for this revival that God will just have his way. The Bible says there's great joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. So we thank God, amen, for the souls that responded to this cry and this call. And before we change the other the service, I want to but take a few minutes. I'm going to ask Elder Jones to come and just yes. take about two or three minutes and just testify. Yes. Yes. Man, he's been coming to the noonday press service. He's been coming oh, yeah. every night. Let's put our hands together. Welcome Elder Jones. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God as he comes to testify. Elder Jones, God bless you. Well, praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I want to first give honor to Christ, who is the head of my life. Amen. Amen. Thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for Apostle Modest. Amen. He's truly a man of God. Yes. Someone who I look up to. Amen. Thank God for my dear pastor, Pastor yes. Walker. Yes, yes. Thank God for my sister, Pastor. Thank God for oh, yeah. Dr. Sampson. Yes. Praise God for her. Yes. A preacher woman. Yes. And I thank God that I met her. Yes. But first, I just want to tell a brief testimony of how God blessed me yeah. in this revival. Yeah. It may seem strange to some people, but I thank God. You know, last week they had me on a night show, uh -huh. and I was praying for the Lord to make a way for me to be here. Uh -huh. And I tell you, I heard it was a high time in the Lord. Y'all had a high time in the Lord. Amen. I heard how Pastor Sampson brought the word. Yes. And I was saying, dog, I wish I was there. Dog, I wish I was there to hear Apostle. Yes. But I got a message from my grandmother and from my wife. And they said that they extended the time. Amen. And I say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. God will make a way out of no way. He knew that I wanted to be here because I love to be fed from the people of God, true people of God. And as I was able to make it, I tell you, I was able to make it to noonday prayer all this week. They put us back on the day shift, but I was praying to the Lord. And Hallelujah. every day this week, our former here call us and tell us that we will try it again tomorrow. I say, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. You know, prayer changes things, yeah. people. Yeah. Prayer changes things. Oh, yeah. If we would just only trust him yeah. and believe in him. You know, we believe in so many other things. Oh, yeah. But sometimes we put a limit on God. Yeah. We have to realize who our creator is. child, a true I parent, asks, you know, when their child asks them for something, yeah. and if they can do it, they'll do it. Yes, yes, yes. What about God? Yeah. What about the one who made yeah. our parents? Yeah. The one that allowed them to raise us? Yeah. All we have to do is ask, yes. and it'll be given. I have a great another testimony, but I'm not going to prolong the time. Yes, Y'all yes. hear it one day soon. Yeah. Yeah. I can handle a possible yeah. Yeah. Come on, give the Lord a big clap. Praise the name of God. Elder Jones, hallelujah. New Mount Zion, Holiness Church. Yeah. Uh, Prophetess Walker, amen. He's the pastor yeah. of that church. Yeah. Amen. At this time, I want to ask him, man, Junior Pastor Presley to come. She'll make the announcements of the activities in this church. Yeah. And then she'll introduce, amen. The woman of God is going to bring the word of the Lord tonight. Let's put our hands together. Amen. As a junior pastor, amen. Lord Presley, as you come to us. Praise God. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Come on, put your hands together one more time. Amen. We have been enjoying ourselves. Amen. Thank God. We thought it was just going to roll for a week, and then by the time it came up, I was like, oh, you know, it just didn't crunk up good. Amen. And then God called and said, hey, we're going to keep going. Amen. So I bless God and honor the Lord for this man of God, Apostle Modest and Pastor Modest. Amen. For their faithful work and ministry. Amen. Doing things that others won't do these days. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Christine, but we thank God for their faithfulness. Amen. We get thank God for our pastor. I guess I'll introduce her, tell a little bit about her. Amen. And most probably I already know because she's the same way whether you see her in the grocery store right. and whether you catch her at the house, at the bank, and wherever you see her, she's going to say, praise the Lord. How you doing? Amen. She's not ashamed of the God that she serves. It don't really matter where she is. Amen. She's going to say, praise the Lord. Amen. Because that's what's in her. Amen. When they say the rooster crows because it's in you. Amen. So we thank God for the work that she started here on this in, in this community on the east side of Jacksonville. Amen. We've been here for about 15 years. It will take a year or so. Amen. We've been here about 15 years, give or take a year. Amen. And God has been doing great things. Amen. He blessed us and made a way where we're not in debt. This building is debt free. The land is debt free. God bless us. Amen. Hallelujah. God is yet doing great things. Amen. He's yet blessing his people. It may come in small doses, but he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Amen. We have an awesome music ministry here. Amen. That our pastor founded. Amen. She believes in giving God praise. I don't care what it looks like. You praise him anyhow. Amen. Amen. Until it gets better. Amen. And the more you praise him, hallelujah, the more God will bless you. But you got to be faithful in few things. That's what she teaches us. Amen. And he'll make you ruler of many. Amen. Don't matter what you're going through. Just give God a praise. Amen. Amen. We thank God for our children's ministry. And, amen. And they have an awesome music ministry, as we're seeing. Amen. God is raising up musicians right here. She prayed. Amen. I can remember a time when she used to do it all, sitting on the organ. Amen. She would take up the offering. She would preach. She would do praise and worship. She would do everything sitting on the organ. Amen. Everybody would look at the organ, and we would give God praise and look at the organ. What are we going to do next, Pastor? But God began to, you know, call. for God to send help. Amen. And he raised it right up in the ministry. So we honor the Lord, amen, for the great things he's done, for the anointing that he's placed on her life. Amen. And sometimes we want to say all these swelling beautiful things when people are stretched out, amen, in front of the church. But I want to give her due while she's here, because she's allowed to hear it, amen. Because God is placing an awesome anointing, an awesome teaching anointing, amen. And she, what I love about her is that she lives the life that she talks about. She lives the life that she pray. I live with her. Amen. I'm the youngest of four, and I tell you, I've never seen amen, my mother do anything that was contrary to what God said. Amen. My father was a merchant seaman, and he was out on, out on the water and in Africa and different places, and I can truly say that she stood as a woman of God. Amen. We didn't see every and anybody running in and out of our house. Amen. She was faithful to her husband. Amen. God blessed her. Hallelujah. And guess what? He still able to keep if you want to be kept. So I thank God for such an, an anointing. I thank God for such an example. Amen. To young women to teach us how to be women of God. Amen. And not be loose women. I, I thank God for that. Amen. I know it's all about the decisions that we make. Hallelujah. But you know what you come up in the house with is what you do when you get older. So I bless God for such an example. Amen. Her preaching the word and teaching the word. I'm going to get out of the way. Amen. We do have services. I give our service times. Amen. Sunday at 10 o'clock Sunday morning. We have Sunday school. Amen. Talk by great deacon Woods. Amen. And we thank God for his spirit. Amen. And, and Sunday at noon, high noon. Amen. We start with our Sunday regular Sunday service. Amen. On Tuesday at noon, we do have prayer. Amen. Tuesday night, we have Bible study at 730. And then Thursday, we have prayer again at noon. Thursday, 730, we have deliverance service. I tell you what, God is just blessing. And he don't need a whole lot. He just needs some people that want to get together, that want to do something, that want to see a move of God. Amen. So we honor the Lord. I'm not going to prolong it. We ask you to receive the woman of God at this time, none other than them. our pastor and overseer of Grace and Hope Deliverance Ministries, Dr. Gladys Sampson. Come on, let's give the Lord a praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus, we're dependent on you.
Jesus. Thank you. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord tonight. Yeah. Oh, God, every night. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But I'm so grateful tonight. Yeah. I kept telling the saints, I said, we're going to have revival. Yeah. I just kept saying over and over. Yeah. I think some of them thought I was just talking out of my head. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Some of them thought I was just kind of, you know, blowing air. You know, yeah. somebody yeah. said something so long, people thought they were blowing air. Yeah.
the devil is doing a whole lot of stuff. But you know what, praise God, we ought to be men and women enough that we can stand flat for an amen and tell the devil, hallelujah, that God is, he still is more than enough. Hallelujah, he still more than enough. Glory to God. And I don't care how they try to make the gospel of Christ. Look bad, amen. Right. We got to do like Apostle Paul said, but I'm not ashamed of the gospel.
house for after that. Hallelujah, the four men you'll get to. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He called him Messiah. He said, you either for me or against me. Yeah. Hey, that's what he read the other night. I don't remember every scripture he went through. I should have wrote it down. But I, when I saw that one, I said, thank you, Holy Ghost. You either for me or you against me. Praise God. You either love, hallelujah, love the Lord or you don't. Amen. Praise God, God. Hallelujah. It's calling us. Amen. Come on, let's go to the word. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yes, praise God. Amen. I don't know, praise God. This is the thing. I know it. I know it didn't grow in there. But it seems like I'm short or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this. I'm trying to figure out. I can't see the top of my mouth. Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But we want to actually praise God there. We go into the Word of God. Amen. Tonight. Thank God to that 10th chapter. We're going to skip a little bit, amen, tonight. But praise God, we're going to that 10th chapter. Glory to God, hallelujah. Of the book, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Oh. I don't know what my scripture's here to. Amen. Praise God, Romans 10, amen. We're going to Romans 10 tonight. Because the Apostle Paul realized one day that the Romans didn't know God. Like they thought they knew him. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. And as praise God, hallelujah, he saw them and the state and the condition that they were in. Hallelujah. Yes. He told them, he said, my prayer to God in Israel yes. that you might be saved. Yes. He didn't say you were saved, that you might be. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. His heart and his prayer to God was that yes. the people would be saved. Yes. Amen. Amen. My desire is that the people would be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Looking at the people of God, hallelujah, looking many times at the people, I'm going to say the people, just the people in general. Praise God. You hear people talk about the Lord. You hear people talk about how good God is and what God has done for them. And then almost under that same breath, they turn around and start talking about all of their sinful activities. Amen. Hallelujah. And I think about Apostle Paul said, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Not according to knowledge. They got a zeal. Hallelujah. Some of them cannot sing you. They cannot preach you. Amen. Hallelujah. They cannot testify you. Amen. They cannot dance you. Glory to God. But they just for the moment. Hallelujah, praise God. But he said, I bear them record. First of all, he said, my heart desire and prayer to God that Israel might be saved. That let you know, praise God, that there was a problem. There was something they was coming short of. Amen. I bear them record that they have a zeal. Now, there was a time in my life I had a zeal of God. Yeah, a lot of things he didn't understand. 
And praise God. And he said, used to tell me, he said, well, that's some people say you ain't going to never be saved till you're dead. Right. I said, if you wait till you die, you won't be saved. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you won't be saved. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about it. Because right. as I saw tell to y'all on the last week, my mama used to tell me you're not going to die a cow and be raised a horse. All right.
Ghost. Hallelujah. And we will receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh. Hallelujah. In my book, he talked about the Holy Ghost. He said the, uh, the preposition yeah. with the, praise God, with is the translation of the Greek word in. And it's often translated as in, I in. Hence, many prefer the rendering, ye shall be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Likewise, baptized with water may be translated baptized in water. Yes. Right. Jesus himself is the one who baptizes his believers in the Holy Spirit. Right. Amen. Amen. And we shall receive power. Yeah. This is the key verse in the book of Acts. Hallelujah. The primary purpose of the baptism in the Spirit is receiving a power Hallelujah. to witness for Christ. Yes. Receiving a power. How can you witness of something
understand that. Yes. We need to get people to understand that. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Yes. I got another friend, praise God, that sings with us. Amen. He always say that he been off of drugs. Hallelujah. I forgot how many years. I think when we met it, it was close to 20 years. Yes. Praise God. It's probably close to the 30 now. Yes. Or more, praise God. Hallelujah to God. And he said, I never
Jesus Christ. And that God has raised him from the dead. We can be saved. We shall be saved. Hallelujah. And if you really truly believe it, you are saved. Amen. You are saved. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We need to give people something they can hold on to. And believe and trust in. Praise God. Stop.